up what up everybody it's Genghis Kron and welcome to yet another indie game along with Genghis Kron we just played some crazy ass drunken masters one of my favorite goofy HTML games we're actually jumping over we played a couple games behind the bar as the bartender I figured we'd play a game where we were on the other side of the bar I saw this shit on game jolt looks goofy as all hell it's a super arcadey game uh, it's just overall ridiculous it's if it didn't come out before goat sim it definitely feels goat sim inspired as a matter of fact it came out on 216 14 so that I feel like it's definitely goat sim inspired uh, all I will say, oh, it's also coming out for iOS and Android, which is kind of tight. So I am going to go ahead and run this shit and get my video going. And this shit is going to be hilarious, I have a feeling. Super ridiculous also. I am super excited. Unity like a motherfucker. Unity Engine so interesting because you can do so much with it. So many different games come out for it. It's crazy. What the fuck? Oh, wrong one, that's why. There we go. So this is Llama with a Beer. I am gonna go ahead and start the game. Oh wait, actually, you know what? I need to figure out what the fuck the controls are. I'm guessing start the game is enter. So this is a game also by Enric Lambert. And uh, the link always in the description. From the first look at this, it's fucking amazing, and I'm so into it. So let me go ahead and crack this beer, and let's play Llama with a Beer. <laughs> Cheers, I got another Kagwama, the turtle. All right, let's do this shit. Oh god. Okay, so our best score is three so far. I don't know if you get the game yet, but it's fucking hilarious. Oh, way too hard. Let's go. Here we go. Oh shit, okay. Way softer. Oh, oh, that was pretty good. Seven. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, this is basically just a balancing game and you're a llama. But. Fucking hilarious, and I just am kind of in love with it in general. Everything about it, from the oh man, that was pretty good though. Almost had that sideways run going. Oh shit, it's hard to remember, like his left turns like leans you to the left and right leans you to the right, but it's the opposite way the the glass is going, cause, so it gets kind of confusing. But I'm definitely gonna go for a fucking crazy high score on this. I'm not gonna do very well though, because I'm not ever very good at these kinds of games. Oh shit, because I'm not good at subtle either. Alright, I love the music though. Right away, that's like one of my favorite parts about it. Fuck. Oh, here we go. 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 Yeah, 10. Alright, I'm feeling this shit. We definitely need to take a drink after every one, so cheers. I'm kind of falling in love with this game, you guys. This might be my new favorite thing. I'm definitely going to pick this up for Android. Because that's what I'm rocking currently. 13! Cheers! The music helps so much, and the dope background. I'm guessing the further you go down this bar... Oh, shit. It feels like the, if you start getting momentum, it's way easier. It's the still part that's difficult. Like when you're just going slow. Because once you start leaning, you can kind of just coast that shit like this. See what I mean? Oh, shit. I'm just curious to see how like how far the, the shit goes in the background. I'm kind of in love with this game. 13. Cheers. Definitely feels like the way to do it is to get that lean going and just kind of like feather the feather the key, almost just like a GTA 4 basically with driving on GTA 4. That's what it feels like. Weird reference, I know, but that's exactly what it feels like. I love this fucking game, you guys. 
This is uh, Llama with a Beer. I'm going to remind everybody. Also, you can download the soundtrack on the link, so if you like the music, uh, you can download it directly from the Game Jolt. And also, if you guys don't know, Game Jolt games are 100% free. You don't even have to sign in to play them. They're fucking amazing. A lot of them are very flash gamey, but a lot of them are really interesting, like, uh... All the Will You Remember ones that I did are on there. There's a lot of very interesting kind of artsy games on there, too. I really like it. I'm a giant Game Jolt fan. I don't think the site gets nearly as much love as it should. And their Twitter is hilarious. They always are uh, on the low favoriting my shit. Because they're fucking sweethearts over there. But, uh, yeah, the, I'm, I am fucking so in love with this game. You, the Really, the key is to get that sideways lean going. Let's try going the other way this time. Oh, shit. I, I, I forced it a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. I wonder how when it... Like, because I'm imagining that eventually stuff starts showing up again. But I have no idea. I fucking love this game. I love that grumpy-ass pig, too. Reminds me of Carla from Cheers. I wasn't trying to be an asshole. I just mean the grumpy-ass face and the weird hat slash hair thing. To be fair, it could easily remind me of uh, Cliff as well. Almost actually more reminds me of Cliff than if Cliff was bartending at Cheers. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, 18! Yo, I fucking am in love with this game. I think it just restarted. I like that there's bar background noise on it. It's a really cool touch. The key is to try to catch the momentum of the game itself. Like, because when you try to force it, it gets real sideways real quick. But if you kind of just let it tilt and then just start feathering that shit like a car, it works real well. You just feather left. You just feather that left key and just keep that shit feathering. All day. You over, it's better to overcompensate than undercompensate, unfortunately. Which makes it a little bit tricky to ride that like 45 degree angle I really like the weird background colors it almost reminds me of um what fucking movie was that the only book Adam Carolla ever read um Phantom Tollbooth reminds me of that movie if like that movie and like those weird flight sim games from back in the day had a kid that's what those backgrounds remind me of I'm, I'm such a big fan of this game, though. Oh, I'm not drinking for these. Cheers. Yo, this shit is hilarious. I feel like it's so much harder to try to balance still like that. Just because you have to kind of like... it's It gets so floppy when you go back and forth too much. I feel like it's so much easier if you just go all one direction. So that way the... The, the cup stays more centered. Because when this cup starts bouncing back and forth, it just flops out a lot. Or the beer, I should say. I don't know why I'm calling it a cup like an asshole. To be fair, though, I'm spilling so much beer in this game. <laughs> like fucking giant party foul. I love the art style on this game, though. God damn it, am I in love with this game. I wasn't even playing. I was just watching that time. I feel like, how long is it until... You can get a three without touching anything. I wonder what the... Everybody's, like, highest is on this. I think there's scores down here. Hold on, let me check. Somebody said they got 23, goddammit. <laughs> we got 18 so far. Oh, wait. I thought that was counting me down. I kind of want to be 23 now, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that in this time frame. It's kind of goddamn hilarious, though, this game. Oh, God. These kinds of games are fun once you've been drinking for a bit, too. 
Because they're like weirdly skill based but not skill based so they're like you can kind of learn and still feel like you're at least gaining progress in a game. Even if it's super minimal progress. God, man, I, I got all quiet because I was all focusing. You can see that I literally like feather it like a car. Like, you, like when he moves, it's it's almost like he's shifting. It's really weird. Did you see him? He like he like bounces every once in a while, and that it literally feels like shifting when he does it. It's really weird. I'll try to do it really soft back and forth right here. Oh god. Oh god, when you try to b counterbalance- Oh man, I was doing good on that though. If I hadn't have like tried to fucking counter all crazy on that, I might have done actually- Maybe I should start going slow and then only do that shit when I have to. Seems like it's probably a better move, right? Oops, fuck that up. Problem is I have trouble being soft on that shit. I end up doing so much worse like that. When I just fucking gun it to the right, I do so much better. Like when I go like this. Part of what's cool about it is the momentum of which way he's walking changes depending on which way he's leaning. So like the more to the right you lean, the faster you go to the right. And the more to the left you lean, the less fast you go to the right. And the more you go to the left. So you'll, you'll notice if I actually hold this lean right here, we'll actually start going back towards everything. It's kind of interesting. I really like that mechanic. Because it makes it so that... It actually makes it so a little bit harder to keep the uh, physics going. Because you can't just, like, lighten up and still be moving the same direction. Because if you lighten up too much, you'll actually slow down too much and the glass will start flying all over the place like that. It's weird. It's a fucking interesting mechanic, though. And it works really effectively. Like, all these... Since this is running at a solid fucking 60 frames a second. Like, the only time it drops is when I restart, and then it immediately is right back to 60. It's fucking gorgeous. Like, that's the best part about this game, is it's running at a really pretty 60 frames. Like, fucking no problem. That's the one thing about Unity I've found, that it has pretty steady fucking frame rates for this low... This low fucking, uh... Intensity graphical shit Especially for the more pixelated kind of stuff like it's really able to do that super steady, which is kind of cool to see Man, we've been playing the shit out of this game. I really want to at least get to like fucking 20. Well, I feel like we're not progressing that hard Oh my god, it's, it's hard for me to go to the left. I don't know why it's way harder. It starts to the right which I think is part of it. Fucking fly flew on me. Doing so terrible now. For sure, the more I'm drinking on this, the worse I'm doing. That's for sure a thing. Damn it. That beer just goes fucking flying. And I like how the ears are actually like solid objects against which the fucking glass bounces. It's kind of crazy. Oh shit, here we go. Here we oh, fuck. Oh man, I just keep fucking this up. Oh, that one was terrible. I just flopped over for that shit. Oh god. Fuck. Oh, this, I'm not doing any better. We might have to start wrapping this one. Because I don't see myself doing much better than 18 on this, I don't think. Because that was kind of a fucking landmark move. Don't talk and fuck this up. Whatever you god damn do. Oh! I fucking 22. That motherfucker bested me by one. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do this game again in the future because I fucking love it. But this was Llama with a Beer. I'm fucking, oh my god, is it goofy but fucking awesome. I'm such a giant fan of this shit. So look for that in the future. 
Uh, also, we might be able to crank out one more before uh, I call it for our official Drunk History Season 2 release, whatever the fuck this is. So this was, again, Llama with a Beer. Definitely go check it out. Link's in the description. It's also on Android and iPhone, so look for that. Or at least it's coming to it soon. And until next time, motherfuckers, go do something decadent. We out. Light.